you're looking at what's called an active office, which in the future may become as commonplace as a water cooler, pot plants and a photocopier no one understands. So I certainly feel better at the end of the day. I feel more supple, fitter, I wouldn't say, but you certainly won't have back pain. People who suffer from sitting in a chair don't get that through this. I've been standing for maybe a couple of hours. I can just grab the chair like this and push it down with one hand, and, and it's actually very easy to do. Mm -hmm. These sit-stand desks that enable you to do just that are, researchers say, proving to be very good for you. The evidence shows that people who spend prolonged periods of time sitting, uh, they're at risk of numerous health um, outcomes, such as increased risk of diabetes, some cancers, uh, obesity, uh, and cardiovascular diseases. So our work is trying to investigate ways in which we can encourage people to reduce or break up their sitting time throughout the day. Of course, not everyone is able to stand, but for those who can, muscles are still working away. Think of it as extremely gentle exercise. In Denmark, companies have to offer workers the option of a standing desk. So far, the bulk of the research has focused on sedentary workers, people who sit down all day in offices, for example. But what about the workers of the future? Here at Grove House Primary in Bradford, the children have been taking part in an experiment, the first of its kind in Europe, to see whether standing lessons can work in school.